Hey everyone, in this quick video we're going to talk about how you can get your iClone character motions into Maya, complete with hair and clothing physics animations. Uh, we can do this thanks to the new Alembic support with iClone 6.5. Alembic ABC files store flattened or baked vertex animation data via point cache and disregard any procedural data such as skinning, rigging and bones. Basically this means you can store the soft cloth hair in physics animation as well. They also retain the UV but carry no other material assignment data. It's essentially a universal exchange format for animated 3D data, no matter how complicated it is. You can send it to nearly any 3D program, something like a piece of 3D stock footage. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have your physics animation baked by going into the project settings and selecting bake animation under soft cloth. From that point, play back the duration of the animation that you uh, want to bake. Uh, in our case here, it's the duration of the entire project. You can see now that when I scrub through the timeline that the soft cloth and hair animations are indeed baked. Now what you want to do is make sure that your character is selected and then go up to the file menu and select export alembic. In this case we're exporting the entire project and you also want to bake the opacity map to diffuse. Then save your ABC file to wherever you, to wherever you want. I'll call mine Dance. So that's exported the animation complete with physics cloth simulation into ABC format. So let's export our character now to 3D Exchange so we can get an FBX file with all the relevant textures. We're going to need this for later. So again, we're just going to simply go up to FBX Export and I'll use the same name for my FBX file to keep things consistent. Okay, so now we're in Maya and I want to open my outliner as well as the hypershade tool to assign the materials. Um, then I'll directly drag my ABC file into Maya. Uh, don't worry about the scale right now. As I scrub the playhead, you can see the physics and hair came through beautifully. So now I'll swap over to the legacy viewport and you can see that we don't have any materials and this is because Alembic can't really handle multiple materials it can only assign a single material to a single mesh, so that presents a problem. But what I'm going to do now is create a material in Maya and name it Skin Body, because we're going to apply that to the Body Mesh selection in the Outliner. Just make sure we have the proper mesh group selected, right click on that material we created, and assign it to the selection. From then on, I'll just click and drag both the Diffuse and Normal Texture Maps from Explorer and assign them to their respective channels on the material, which would be default and bump channels. So now we have our body texture applied. Let's do the same thing for the skin on the head. Again, I'm selecting and applying the material to that mesh group, and then dragging the materials from Explorer to the respective channels. So there's actually a more efficient way to do this, which is what I'm going to show you next. If you import the FBX file first, you'll also import in all the materials that come along with that FBX file. As you can see in the Hypershade tool here once it's imported. Then when we select the right shading options, we can see the fully textured character. However, we don't need the rig at this point, only the materials. So what I can do is delete the entire hierarchy in the outliner and then import in that same ABC file that I did before. Let's make the project length a little longer here so we have the completed animation. So now when we go into the Alembic group hierarchy, we, get, we have the same mesh group assigned, just not the materials. Since we've already imported those materials with the FBX, all we need to do now is simply assign the proper ones like we did before. The naming conventions are pretty straightforward, so you shouldn't have any issues with normal characters. I'll just speed this up a bit so we can take a look at the finished product. And there you have it folks, the animation complete with iClone soft cloth physics simulation exported to Maya in a couple of minutes thanks to the new Alembic support. That's really all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. We will have others that cover a similar topic for other popular tools, 
So stay tuned for those. And also make sure you check out the forums at forum.reillusion.com. And I'll see you in the next video.